Sir, is it your purpose and your hope that over and above trade and business, that the Europeans who are now prospering, largely thanks to our help, will help carry a part of the share of helping the developing nations? We've been doing that job almost alone. One of the uh, big uh, questions I think that Europe faces is whether the common market in this new strong Europe is going to look in or whether it's going to look out. Uh, we've been carrying this load uh, a very long time, and I don't suggest that we should uh, lay it down, but I do suggest that there are others who have now become prosperous, whose gold balances have been built up. I'd like to see them bear the burden. This is not a private struggle. This is a struggle for the freedom of the world. And if they're not ready to bear their share, the United States can't do it alone. We're 6% of the world's population. You know, we have six divisions stationed in Western Europe to defend it. Western Europe's a large area. It's as large as the Soviet Union. But uh, there hasn't been an effort made uh, uh, by most of the countries there in their own defense comparable to what we've made. And yet we carry obligations in Latin America and Africa and Asia. Now, the time is coming when the Western Europeans have to decide, are they going to join in a large way in this effort? Because the United States cannot continue to carry it alone. And the United States helped build them up. And now we're asking them to join us in this effort and not expect that this country, that we're going to be able to go alone on it. We can't do it. They're going to have to join us. And if they don't, uh, all will be the losers.